Hello and welcome to Tensile Ground Coffee. A few minutes on ground engineering to enjoy while having your coffee. Well, a special treat for you in this episode. We're at the former geotechnical laboratories of the Ashford Common Water Treatment Works of Thames Water. And I'm standing next to the first triaxial compression test machine built in England. It was built in 1944. So if we have a little look around the apparatus, you see the, the principles haven't changed much uh, since then to now. We have, um, here's the cell here where the specimen will go. So imagine that this is the, the specimen, this piece of wood here, that's about the size of the specimen. That would go inside there and I can still see the base pedestal and the top cap there. So the cell is filled with water to apply the pressure around the specimen. And we have a, a motor at the back here with some gearing and that is used to advance the ram to apply the axial load through the specimen. And there are some uh, ingenious features uh, already in this first uh, example of a triaxial test machine in, the, in England is there are some rotating bushes uh, inside there so that the ram will advance with uh, reduced friction uh, through the bearings. And here we have a pressure gauge that is measuring the load that uh, is applied uh, axially, the deviatoric uh, stress, pounds per square inch, and that is connected to this ingenious mechanical device here. There's a, a needle here, so as the load increases, that will swing across there, and I can see the values in pounds per square inch there, and there's a pen there, and it will trace the load along that paper as it advances to provide a stress-strain curve. So, even back in 1944 in the first uh, kit, some ingenious uh, little devices there. So, what's it doing here at, uh, at Thames Water? Well, you know uh, Professor Alan Bishop? Yes, him of the Bishop method, that is the slip circle analysis method that is still used all over the world today that he developed during his PhD studies. Well, when he graduated from Cambridge University in 1942, his first job was here at the Metropolitan Water Board, which then became uh, Thames Water. And his first task was to design the earth dam, the 15 metre high, 4,000 metre long earth dam to contain what became the Queen Elizabeth II storage reservoir near Hampton Court. And to help him with the design of that, he and his co-workers built their own triaxial test machine the first one in England, and here it is still here today. So he did that in four short years at uh, the Metropolitan Water Board. And then he went to Imperial College to uh, develop the Soils Laboratory there. So he went on to make more developments, developments with the triaxial test. So he, uh, he published with David Henkel in 1957 what became known as the Bible of triaxial testing setting out not only the test procedures, but also how the parameters from the test should be used in design. And Alan Bishop's contribution to geotechnical engineering cannot be overstated. I mean, for example, in 1960, he published a well-known paper with Professor Bierum, setting out uh, undrained and, so undrained total stress and drained effective stress analysis for stability analysis that still forms the basis of geotechnical design today. And he went on to make further developments in laboratory testing. That was one of his gifts, equipment design and improving uh, test methods. So he uh, improved the measurement of residual strength. He developed a ring shear apparatus. He also improved on the triaxial cell. He developed the hydraulic triaxial cell for stress path testing with Laurie Wesley. And he also made improvements to the hollow cylinder apparatus, that is for measuring um, the effect of changes in principal stress direction, and he developed that with David Height. So an impressive list of achievements uh, by uh, Professor Alan Bishop. Okay, so all that remains for me to say is a big thank you to Thames Water for allowing me to come and see this important piece of ground engineering history. That's all for this episode of Tensar Ground Coffee. Thanks for watching and see you next time.